Welcome to Founders Day, the highlight of the year, a moment to celebrate together, a point at which our school community can gather together and be reminded of who we are and what it means to be part of the John Rowan School. Founded in 1677, the school started off with just 16 boys, their education funded by a generous donation from a local man called John Rowan. He wanted to help, and in setting up a school, he kick-started a long tradition of providing an education to the children of Greenwich. John Rowan also decreed that the children at his school should wear his crest, another long tradition still upheld in 2020. John Rowan's legacy is still very evident. The school continues to this day to receive considerable additional income to support our students. This is overseen by the John Rowan Foundation and we thank them for the work that they do in order to ensure there is enough money to support a wide range of activities at the school. In addition to bursaries and grants for those who need them to buy uniform or to travel to Braithwaite, John Rowan's legacy subsidises other trips and visits and supports teams such as our basketball team. Two students a year receive the John Rowan Exhibition, a grant of £1,000 a year for their time at university. And perhaps most relevant to today, the John Rowan Foundation puts considerable resource into the provision of music at the school. And I would like to thank the music team and everyone who's been involved in preparing today's celebrations. We're a proudly comprehensive school. We are a community that is truly representative of the Greenwich population. Many of our students have parents who themselves came to the school or who have lived in this local area for many generations. We also have students and families who have moved into the area from other parts of London, from the United Kingdom and from across the world. Greenwich is a vibrant and mixed community and the John Rowan School reflects this and celebrates the diversity of its population and the vibrant richness that this brings to all that we do. Over its 343 years, the school has grown, moved, changed and managed many difficult situations. Our memorial stone at the Mays Hill building marks the huge impact of the two world wars. Just one reminder that schools are not protected from the impact of global situations. Throughout all of these times, it has always been important for the school community to take a moment each year to stop and remember our founder, John Rowan, and to reflect on what he has provided for the children of Greenwich. The walk down through the park to the church for Founders Day service is a strong memory that many old Rowans have. Now, we may not be walking through the park today and we may not be squeezing into the church and we may not be wearing our blazers, but we are marking the most important day of our school year. Even a few weeks ago, none of us really thought that this fine tradition would not be possible. How on earth could we not do what we do every year? But things are different right now. And today we find ourselves looking back over 343 years, of course, but also looking back over the last four months. In that time, students, staff and parents of the school have had to dig deep, but we have hung on to the key values that are central to our life at the school. We have remembered how proud we are to be part of this school. While most of us, I imagine, have not been wearing our blazers with the John Rowan crest every day, we have been doing our very best under challenging circumstances. We have respected the restrictions placed on us and have done what we can to ensure that we can keep ourselves going and keep us, our families safe. We have got involved in helping others. Together, we have raised an incredible sum of money to support learners in our school. Many of us have also helped neighbours and friends and family in need through these difficult times. We have been determined to get through this. I have been impressed to hear stories of how our students have managed to continue with their work despite the pressures and constraints they have faced. And we have been excellent role models for others. 
our high standards have been maintained and our commitment to excellence has remained. We will see these values shine through today as our community comes together to celebrate the legacy of John Rowan in a way that has never been done before. The fact that we are doing this today, that no one has allowed the current situation to dampen our pride, our pride to be part of the John Rowan School, to be a part of Greenwich history, is exactly what this school is about. Our strength, our resilience, our pride, all point positively to a very strong feeling of hope for our futures. And it is the hope for our futures that we are celebrating today in the name of John Rowan. Thank you. Thank you.
title of the poem is Founders Day and was written by Ella Barker in year eight. The rise in voices, the echo in rhythm of life and freedom, of melody and harmony. No voices, nothing except the wind in the trees and the mournful cry of a bird breaches the void within these proud walls. Though there is silence, though there is only a faint trace of the life we once led, nothing really changes. Today's special, today is Founders Day. The Future We Want by Michaela Riney Lucas, Year 9. The future we want is equal. The future we want is fair. The future we want is unprejudiced. We want a future that we look on with hope, not one that makes us mope. We can make it our own and not one that you've already blown. The future we want is free. The future we want is right. The future we want is green. We can see equality, men and women side by side, boys not afraid to cry, girls not scared to fight. This is the future we want. Instead of being part of the problem, help us and become part of the solution.
Bright seeds squashed, packed and enclosed. Small shoots emerge, young and isolated, tiny with texture. It reaches and stretches to be the top one, trying to be the tallest to catch all the sun. Yellow ochre petals grow, face like a sundial, tall and bright. Butterfli butterflies appear to greet its perennial friend. It reaches and stretches to be the top one, trying to be the tallest to catch all the sun. Thin-winged wasp, delicate and striped, hugs the hairy stem. Stamens stand upright, pollen sits drooping. It reaches and stretches to be the top one, trying to be the tallest to catch all the sun. Withered and dried, old and cold, weary of the world.
past its prime.
The sky. What a lovely day. Aren't the clouds beautiful? You know what I do when it seems as if I couldn't stand being cooped up for one more minute? I think myself out. I think myself on a walk in the park where I used to go with Pim, where the daffodils and crocus and violets go down the slopes. You know the most wonderful thing is about thinking yourself out. You can have it any way you like. You can have roses and violets all blooming at the same time. It's funny. I used to take it all for granted, and now I've gone crazy about everything to do with nature. Haven't you? You don't need religion, or all believe in heaven and hell or things. I just mean some religion. It doesn't matter what, just believe in something. When I think of all that's out there, the trees, flowers, and seagulls, and the gardeners of people we know, all risking their lives for us every single day. When I think of these good things, I'm not afraid anymore. We're not the only people that had to suffer. There have always been people that had, that had to. Sometimes one race, sometimes another. And yet, I know it's terrible trying to have any faith when people are doing such horrible. But you know what I sometimes think? The world may be going through a phase. It'll pass, maybe not for a hundred years, but someday, I still believe, in spite of everything, that people are really good at heart. I used to look at the world and there was so much to see, but everyone in it was stuck on a screen. I walked this way, blue light, that way, blue light, all on social media, obsessed and uptight. I look at the world and there is less to be seen. There isn't much to do now, but look at your screen. The shops are empty, so are the streets. Our time in isolation is just obscene. I will look at the world after all this is done. There will be kids in the park having lots of fun. The shops will be packed, to go outside will be keen and hopefully we will stay off our screen. Been a bit too clean, I froze. They don't fight you when I'm from. Like the beat, I keep a drum. You ain't got dough, little boy, you a bum. She give me brain, that bitch so dumb. Used to be broke, I ain't had no funds. Now I spend it just for fun. Eat that hair, it's just for lunch. Walk up in a bit with the VVS. Can't get my girl cause I don't do the text. Don't give a damn about how you flex. Pull up with coupons all over my neck. Tech on them, don't care who next.
checks, pay me a kill for C3 vets. I'm at the show, but I have my check. Chopper gon' blow if you disrespect. Chopper gon' blow if you disrespect. Five the bad bitches wanna give me sex. Gang on my neck, go chain with the crest. She gon' bust it down on the boys when I dip. You a little bitch, come about some crib. Had to drop a road, then I got some bread. Rinse gon' eat, ho, gang get fit. Ain't no me, little boy, get slow. Slow. Hey, no me, little boy, get slapped. I ain't even really gotta call my gang. Got a 30 on me, so I'm by myself. Shorty want enough, I dress myself. Treated on a man like I gave up. Told me go deep like a wishing well. Hit it one time, you know I built. Uh, diamonds shining on them, can't control em. Uh, I be with a pretty bitch. Linda Nelson, Chair of the John Rome Foundation. This is the first time in my memory that we have been unable to gather together to celebrate John Rome. When I first attended Founders Day, it was a service full of hymns and prayers, a rather staid affair, very unlike the wonderful music called celebrations that we see nowadays. It is a very enjoyable event that I look forward to each year. My thanks goes out to all that have taken part in today's virtual Founders Day, especially Alistair for putting it all together. We are living through a time that none of us would have experienced the likes of before. It has been a very challenging time. I give praise to those of you who took up the Challenge 120 and raised over £14,000 to purchase laptops so that students can work from home. It was a fantastic achievement and the Foundation are pleased to match fund the sum raised. 
I am sure the students are finding home study much easier with the use of the laptops. I feel for the students who are leaving this year. It is not how you would imagine the end of your school life to be. I would like to invite you all next summer to the John Rome Club for the farewell party you have missed. Founders Day has also become a time to say goodbye to those staff that are retiring or moving on. Thank you for the service you have given and I wish you all the best for the future. Today is Founders Day, so my last thanks is to John Rome and his legacy which has provided so much for so many over the last 343 years.
So that brings us to the end of our 2020 Virtual Founders Day concert. I'd like to thank you all for watching and hope that you found it enjoyable and a fitting celebration for this important school day. I've been truly inspired by the wealth of enthusiasm from you, the staff, students and parents in your contributions to the concert. I would particularly like to thank the music department for their immense hard work in helping create this fantastic event. A special word of thanks must also go to the John Rowan Foundation, whose continued support makes these events possible. And of course, lastly, the students. The students have once again done themselves proud. Their talent and dedication to music and the arts continue greatly to impress. Thank you all. Cause it's time to move on Hear the drummer get 